of that. Now, what is 4 times 4 times 4? 64. 64. All right, I think you guys are comfortable with that. So, do I really care if you expand it, or do you think I'm okay with you just writing 64? Yeah, we don't have to expand it, but I'm going to just for our notes. I think we all know 9 squared means 9 times 9, which is 81. Now, 2 to the 5th is not 10. That'll be the biggest mistake I see. That does not mean 2 times 5. All right, so let's think about this. What is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? 32. 32. And if you just kind of think about it, 2 times 2 is 4. 8, 16, 32. Just keep multiplying by 2. So the main thing that I want you guys to see, are these exponents positive or negative? Positive. Now, whenever you're doing this, this tells you how many times you're going to multiply that number by itself. So positive exponents really just mean repeated multiplication. So that's the thing I want you guys to focus on. Positive exponents mean repeated multiplication. Now, in math, everything has an opposite. They can call them inverses. So, if a positive exponent means repeated multiplication, what do you think a negative exponent means? What's the opposite of multiplication? It's repeated division. So, whenever you have division, you write it as a fraction. So, what this actually means is we're going to divide by three two times. So it's repeated division. So that means that we are going to divide by three two times. Now, if we don't have anything in a fraction, what do we put there as a placeholder? It's a one. So really, when you see this, that really just means one over three squared. We're gonna divide by three squared, not multiply. So this ends up being 3 squared is 9, so it's 1 9. Repeated division, we divide by 3 squared. Now we don't have to expand this. I would rather you guys just change it to a positive exponent. So this means we're going to divide by 7 to the third. And our placeholder is a 1. So for our bottom number, what is 7 times 7 times 7? 343. 343. It is? That's right. And if you guys need to take 49 times 7, you can do that. 28 plus, uh, oh, probably because I put my 63 backwards. All right, 28 plus 6 is 34. You can always double check your multiplication if you don't have a calculator. All right, so guys, for number six, how do you think I'm going to rewrite 10 to the negative fourth power? One over 10 to the fourth. One over 10 to the fourth. And that gives me 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. How many zeros are there? Four. One over 10,000. So whenever we see positive exponents, it's repeated multiplication. If it's a negative exponent, remember say, do our final answers have negatives anywhere? No. It does, like, we're just dividing by that number. So dividing by that power, and then we get that. So I do want to show you guys something. Uh, the back side of all of your worksheets for indicator 17 are going to be upside down. Uh, new copier, not really. We didn't realize it until afterwards. So I want you guys to go ahead and open up your assignment on Canvas. And then I will show you guys how to flip it. All right, so I will tell you guys, once you open your assignment, in that top right hand corner in Cami, do you guys have like an initial, like a circle with like, I don't know, like mine has a weird initial, I don't know why. But like you guys, is it your first initial up in the top right hand corner? 
All right, do you guys see right next to it there's a button with three lines? All right, so it's just a little menu. So whenever you guys have your first, your first page is right side up. So you will do your work, keep that all right side up, that's fine. But then when you go to your second page, I don't expect you to write all your work upside down. So when you are ready to work on the second page, go up to those three lines in that top right hand corner and then just hit the rotate, and it doesn't actually matter if you do the clockwise or counterclockwise, just click it twice and it'll flip the bottom page right side up, complete that. And when you submit it, the work should go with um, the writing. And so one page will be turned upside down on your homework. I will manage that. But you guys do have the ability to rotate that. Hopefully on Monday, I will have some time while you guys are working from home. I might try to go back into the other assignments and fix that. And let me see if I can. Well, I don't know if I can. You know, so you might be able to. When you guys hit the three lines, do you guys have a, a menu option that says split and merge? Okay, if you hit split and merge, what does that do? Go ahead and hit that continue to split merge. Okay. Yep, hit next. And then on your second page, you could rotate it there, but you don't have to do that. If you are somebody that wants them all the same direction, you can split it and then rotate the second page there and then just hit export all whenever you're done and say open in Cami. But did you lose the submit button when you do that? I'm just curious. Okay, so that makes you lose the submit button. All right, so lesson learned, don't do that. Just rotate it within your assignment and then, ro and then you're good to go. All right, and then I will tell you guys, Monday's e-learning assignment, there will be a short video and a worksheet to go with it.